Hi guys, welcome back to Grand Arena. This round we're playing against Nervous with a G. His, uh, I can spell it however he wants. This is just a quick look at his roster. So, several relics, lots of gear 12s, quite a few gear 11s. Seems to have um, been pushing most of the better uh, teams and things to get. He's got Relic 7 Malak, which I, uh, I'm really hoping he doesn't have on defense. If he if he does, whatever. Um, this is his front. So we've got Ewoks, Bastler, and New Gunray. Uh, gonna put Nest into one of them. Probably put it into um, Bastler. Um, and the only reason why I would choose to do that over the Ewoks is that um, although this has got a higher gear and the Ewoks are probably slightly more threatening in terms of um, damage but because Wicket uh, is there and Elder is there you're going to get this annoying thing where um, Wicket will stealth Elder and then you'll get no counter attacks so even though they'll probably never kill Nest it'll, it'll just take forever um, because there's not the other Ewoks to, to bounce between so I'd rather just chuck her into that I'll just have to check the potency on Bastler. And then down here, obviously, Nuke Gunray. Um, so Django's going to have damage immunity for a couple of turns. There's no Zetas to worry about, but obviously Ventress is still um, quite a decent tune. She's got a stun. There's plenty of debuffs that can get put out to help Django do some damage. Not overall, I'm not too worried about that. I think it's, um, it's not as good as having Dooku in there. And then up here, we've got the sort of typical Grievous that a lot of players set. The old reliable as they maybe should be called, but they're not that reliable, Karth Squad. And then um, Geo. so not a huge showing from a lot of his relics, but I don't know. It's um, what do you save in case there's something at the back. Uh, let's jump in with the Geos first. I'm gonna use Kylo Ren and I'm gonna use um, Treya, just because that's worked really well for me and it only uses two characters up. Of a boring um, battle, this. Oh, come on, Kylo, what are you doing? Uh, card squad, I am going to use CLS. Um, who are we going to go for? Let's just stun Zalbar.
then Droid Squad. Um, now I quite like to just throw um, Padme in here to be honest and just get rid of it. I don't think he's going to have... Um, there's that chance that he stuck a load of relics at the back but... Oh well. Let's just get rid of it. Did he put his relics at the back? Nope, he didn't. Couldn't think he would. I still got um, a couple of decent teams here. Standard Bosk team, which is so much better on offense, as I've said multiple times. Phoenix team, but no regen. There's no Zeb, there's no Chopper, so that team's not. It, it doesn't. It's not that durable. I mean, you've not got. There's no Zeta on Kanan kind of misses out on a lot of the strengths of Phoenix that does. This squad um, is quite good. You've got Droidica there, you've got the assists, um, the damage ups. Yeah, and you've got dispels, you've got a taunt on some fac if you need to um, drag it away. Okay, so his back line's pretty good. I think that's fives. I always get mixed up with these clone troopers. It is fives. He's got health fives with protection. So he's kind of gone for the more durable um, version of fives. He's not got the medipack on Rex, so that means Rex is really easy to kill. Not too worried about that team. Okay. I think we still put Nestin up here. That's a, an easy play. And then I've got Darth Revan, who can go somewhere. Let's just have a quick look. I've got my bounty hunters, I've got Darth Revan, I've got Empire, I've got Separatists, I've got Geos. Kind of, right, where am I going to play my Geos? That's probably the easiest thing to pick. My geos can play into most of this stuff. I probably wouldn't play them into this because there's no ability block. And Rex is eventually going to nuke them. Shakti's going to keep dispelling the um, taunt, so he's probably going to get to nuke a, a better um, geo. And the whole squad's there, so the damage is not there to get rid of fives. Don't really want to play them into bounty hunters, so I can play them into Phoenix. I can probably play them into this um, because it's basically. Geo Mirror, but I've got more and just um, focus down on Droidica and get rid of him. That's not a bad choice. Um, I don't want to play them up here because Django ignores taunts. I can play them into that and I can play them into that. Right, so Geo's, I think, uh, sensible option is to put them into his and have a Geo Mirror. A Geo Mirror. Right, that was an easy mirror. Mm. 
Okay, next team, what have we got? Uh, bounty Hunters. So I don't want to play the Bounty Hunters into this. Unless I put Django in there. If I put Django in there, I can use him to delete Rex. And that's not so bad. But you get the constant dispel against Bosk's Taunt, which is annoying. I don't want to play it into the mirror. I can play it into Phoenix, no problem. And I can play it up here. Okay. So I'll probably end up putting my Bounty Hunters into, um, into like, Newt. Maybe. Trying to pick out the problem squads. I don't always uh, play like this, but... Okay, well, who am I going to use Darth Revan on? I'm thinking the clones. Don't look how quick he is. Uh, he's quite fast on shot T. Quite quick on Rex. And they're all going to get the counter attacks from um, Shakti's ability. I'm wondering if I play Nuke Gunray. I mean, I know Rex is going to put Tenacity up, but I can use um, Ventress to strip it. I could play that. I think this is the team I really need to think about more. I've got Nihilus and um, Scion I can put into something, That'll, that's okay. Hmm. Voices. Uh, I'm probably going to play my Empire into that. Let's just do Nest up here. And... Um, Get rid of this. I go auto basic because of uh, Kenobi passing out foresight, it'd just be easier. Just enough potency to get through all my tenacity.
There we go. Where's that come? Alright, so Ewoks, I don't really need anything particularly super hard to beat, but don't sleep on your Ewoks. They can, um, they'll get you if you underestimate them. They're a good team. Right, so we mostly need to deal with Shaq. This is the, um, this is the kind of problem one. And I think I'm just gonna, I think I should put Darth Revan into it. He's got a lot of, um, tenacity up, a lot of counter-attacks, but I could put tenacity down back on him and then just try and, um, kill Shaq T off and then probably be okay. Go with that. So get some fear out first. Um, none of this is going to work. I want the, um, the grenades. It was much easier to do it that way than it was to try and kill fives. If he had a ton load of health, I'd have probably got counter-attacked to bits. Okay, so Bosk, we are going to use... Um, I'm going to use Empire. Get Thrawn in. Now, what I'm doing is I'm saving the um, Fracture for if Dengar breaks stealth. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I should have um, passed the turn meter earlier. I could have got a, an extra heal in there. And then done the fracture afterwards. So we've just got Phoenix left, and then we've got Newt and Bears. Probably leave the Phoenix. It's Phoenix without regen. It's much easier to deal with. I think this is what I need to um, focus on. So I've got my Separatist team. Which... It's okay. Um, what I have found though is that um, characters like Dooku really don't like getting mugged by multiple bear attacks. Even with the counter attacks, they can really do a number on him before he gets a chance to go. So let's do let's do the Separatist first, and then we'll come to the Ewoks. Right, against the Ewoks, what do I want to use? I will. I'll probably end up just using my Separatist to be honest. I'll do that, and then or I could do. Yeah, I just do the bounty hunters. He can't, he can't beat the bounty hunters because um, he's got no dispel. He just can't go through Rosk. Cool. Right. So separatist battle here. So he's got no stealth because he doesn't have Dooku, but he does have the um, 
the targeting from um, he's got the dispel from Ventress and uh, Django's targeting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Heal the um, protection because of the healing immunity, but he won. And then Bounty Hunter's going in here. I don't think I need Dengar. I think I might be able to two character this. You know what? No, I'm I'm going to keep. Dengar in there just because um, bad things can happen when you start being silly against the Ewoks. But I'm pretty sure I don't need him. Um, I just use Phoenix. Um, there's a number of things I can play into that. I want to put in something that's going to come out with more um, banners. So, what can we put in that's got, can have more banners? So, ideally, I would either want to put in. I mean, I tried running Scion under Nihilus, and it doesn't really work because he's trying to regain protection and stuff all the time but I could run those two he's got Kanan so he's still got the counter attacks so it's like soon he's got them yeah so he's maxed all his abilities except for his um... oh no he's not done all the pairs. right okay I don't think that really matters uh, health mods with potency for no reason Yeah, the damage is great, but Sabine's made a paper. And health mods, and he's gone for the crit chance route to try and um, get the, the bonus on disarming strike. So I'm definitely going to put Django in, because there's no reason not to. I think I do. I think I do that. Maybe more than enough to kill them. Let's put rebels down. Okay, it's interesting. It seems to be like um, since I got um, negotiator unlocked, it seems very much that people are 
not putting their rebels to their attacking fleet. They're holding them that because they assume I'm going to put negotiator on defense, maybe. But I'm not I'm thinking of um, the stuff I had. Okay, look at this fleet. Got Falcon with relics. Um, Phoenix ship. Um, get back gear eight. And then gear 12 bigs. Uh, gear 12 bigs is where that, that starts to get all right, but he's not got the target lock early on. So. Um, who else do we need? He's going to dispel Houndstooth, but he's not going to kill Houndstooth. I'm thinking that. Oh, I don't know really. Do I put in two more ships or one? I mean, I'm going to go through half of that stuff pretty quick, but Bigs can regen enough that he might kill one of my ships if I'm not careful. Have a look how good his Akbar is. Yeah, he's got maxed out. Ship, the fleet power is not that high. I'm just um, this is just difference playing uh, my previous fleet. Because obviously the problem with Negotiator is as soon as you uh, lose Anakin, a lot of your um, fleet falls down. And you don't know what the AI is going to do. Actually, let's, um, let's try this. Let's try putting fives up front. A bit tankier than Ahsoka, so if he does um, dispel my hounds too, maybe I'll attack fives. Um, or if he drops Anakin down to nothing, he'll do it. Right, so let's put out on pigs. He's going to dispel this, so I'm just going to do that. Bands shy of the optimal score. Um, 2296 though, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, I, I thought we might see more of those relics that he's got because he's got quite a few. Um, he's obviously held them for offense, which is fine because that's what I do with pretty much all mine. I don't even know if I've put any on defense. I think there might be just General Kenobi and um, Night Sisters. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally I'm quite an offensive player. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this round, and uh, see you next time.